On the banks of New Zealand's Waikato River lies the city of Hamilton. Like the rest of the country, it's opened its doors to rugby fans from around the globe. But here, support for one country has been more conspicuous than most. We've hung a lot of Welsh uh, flags, Welsh bunting. We're uh, handing out VIP passes to, to Welsh supporters that we see coming through town. Uh, we've got a big sign on the front fence that uh, announces ourselves as the unofficial Welsh embassy for the uh, time of the Rugby World Cup being on. So we're, uh, we're laying down the red carpet, so to speak, and uh, it's been really well received. And the reason for this is Warren Gatland, the Welsh head coach. Born and brought up in Hamilton, and with Wales playing two of their pool matches here, it's an opportunity for him to make a welcome return home. To get two in Hamilton was, whether it was coincidental or not, we're not really sure, but it, it was great for us because for him it's like a home game. And he brought the team out here in June last year, um, and so we had really good support then um, against the uh, All Blacks when we played here. So the Welsh uh, brought the, the people in, in the Waikato are using, so a lot of them are taking Wales as their second team. So if the All Blacks aren't playing or whatever, then they're supporting the Welsh and that's been really good. So for Warren to come back here to where his friends and family are and know the area, know the grounds, know all the training facilities, it's a big advantage. I mean, Warren's a Waikato boy um, through and through. He's, you know, played 140 odd games for Waikato and, and uh, the Waikato people have an instant link there. So. Yeah, there's no doubting that that is it's important from our point of view that Warren does well. Most of the Waikato want him to do well. To enable the visiting fans to sample Waikato hospitality, the local community came up with a novel plan. We're having dinner last year, about a year or so ago, and with Basil and, um, and Trudy. Trudy Gatlin was there, and we were talking about the, the upcoming World Cup, and. Um, and all these headlines about people charging $5,000 for their house for a week and this sort of thing, and thought, well, that's not, we don't want to be part of that, but we would love to have, you know, host some Welsh people, some rugby people, like in the old days when we were at school. You know, we billet our, our opposition and, um, and hopefully, you know, get to meet some good people, which has definitely happened. Warren thought it was a great idea to do this, um, this hosting scheme. He also saw that it was going to take a, quite a bit of coordinating and um, emailing back and forward, but um, yeah, just a great opportunity for the Welsh. So he was great in helping us by doing a couple of interviews in Wales and get, getting it put on their website and um, needing, we kind of needed people to believe it was a genuine offer. Um, I think if they thought, oh, you go to New Zealand and all these families are going to give you free accommodation, I don't know if they really believed it. So he, he gave it some credibility by saying, yeah, you know, my wife's involved um, and a good friend of mine, Basil Lennon, let's, you know, take up the offers if you if you think you're going to need accommodation in New Zealand, do it. And one couple quick to accept the offer were Julie and Mike Davies, the parents of Welsh centre Jonathan. We heard about the uh, scheme through um, our son, who had had an email from Trudy uh, inviting um, any Welsh families who were coming over to New Zealand for the World Cup. Um, and there were families over here that were prepared to host, which was um, fantastic. So. We uh, answered her email, responded to her email, and um, we've gone from there. All of the hosts have suddenly become instant, you know, um, Waikato experts and New Zealand experts, and, and the supporters have been really appreciative of, of everything that's been offered, and yeah, I, I just think it's been fantastic. And, the, and they will take those memories away with them, hopefully. We want them to feel like Hamilton is their second home. I think that talking to some of them already, they you know they have felt that. Yeah. They've been uh, they've been lovely. Yeah. They've been fantastic. And they've they've got the wine out already. Yeah. <laughs> and the beer, <laughs> lovely.